This is the Spider Control i 4.0 integration suite with part 6, which is about reading and writing to indexed array. What are indexed arrays? It's about how to access a variable from a list with a dynamic offset. If an array consists of 10 elements and we set uh, the number 3 as an input to this FB, then we get the content of, content of array element number 3. What are possible forms of arrays? These are, for instance, registers like R1 or F11 or S45 for a string, which describe the register type and the number. There are also symbolic variable arrays like PLC0 colon my array bracket 2 uh, dot value, where uh, 2 is the index. There are symbolic variable arrays with even two indexes, like a PLC1 colon collection of ln bracket 3 dot sub ln bracket 5 dot value. How to configure such a functional block? The parameter, which is entered in the dialog, contains the complete variable name with a marker at the position where the dynamic index should be inserted. The marker must look like this. It's at co underscore mb underscore rt dot ra at. This is just a definition and has to be used like this unchanged. And the variable to be entered might look like this. Uh, I cells column OTF array bracket at CO ta 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 bracket dot value or also without brackets like PLC at etc. a variable. Can we use also a name instead of a number, numeric index? Yes, this is possible. The same functional block can equally be used to assemble a symbol symbolic variable name from two substrings. For instance, if we take the substring heating second floor as an input and declare the EFB parameter like PLC column at ta 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 at uh, dot actual temperature, then the functional block will read out the variable PLC zero column heating second floor dot actual temperature. Okay, so let's give it a try. Um, we will add um, another sheet. We call indexed array. Open this. So, our little job will be we would like to copy um, the uh, 7 1200 variables um, with the name dbw0, 2, and 4 to our internal registers r51, r52, and r53 with the help of um, two indexed objects. So our index um, arrays can be found here. So we would like to write to an indexed register. So first of all, we take this element here and we would like to read from an indexed array. So we will use um, this object here. Um, then the name of uh, the array which we want to read from will be something, an expression without brackets, so it will just be plc0 column db1 dot dbw and then followed by the index okay so we'll probably copy this to make it visible So this is the expression with um, the extension, which is entered by uh, the index. So the next thing is we would like to use um, a counter. So this counter will count from zero 
row to two. We will need an input a rising edge trigger and a button to operate this connect to the trigger so this will be R50 and R50 so this will each time I press count 0, 1, 2 and again 0, 1, 2 um, to use this as indexes, um, we said we would like to copy to R51, R52, R53. So we will ha have to add um, something to this uh, counter output. So we will use an adder object and a constant. The constant, the constant offset in this case needs to be R51, uh, a constant of 51, which will be added here together with what uh, the counter says. We will use that as an index. We will connect the output of the array reading to the input of the register. And now what's left is we have to calculate um, these offsets 0, 2 and 4. Um, so we need a multiplication for this. We do it exactly the same way. So we we'll have an offset and a constant of 2. And we connect this. So, like this. So that will be fine. So we exit, make build, save archive, and let it run. First thing we see is the counter um, is actually uh, showing zero. So the first register has already been copied or dbw0 has been copied to r51 i will increment now the counter is one the offset for the register is 52 and therefore this two is copied once more and we also have the first uh, the third um, register from the semantic copied So, the next thing we would like to try is something a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, we will use um, a symbolic array with uh, double indexes. And the first index we will use is just a string. We'll uh, enter the name of either this structure, PLC main my real or PLC main my int and the second index will be the number one two three for both of them and this object will assemble this and write the result to um, an output so what we need now is a couple of inputs and an output so the first input that we will use is a string so we call it s50 and the second one is just an index which could be r55 Now the magic is in this naming 
So the first thing will be the name. And the second should be directly the value with no brackets, with no additional uh, things needed. So it's just these two constructors with add uh, something RA and RB. And we will furthermore add. A field, an edit field to show the name in a more comfortable way. So this will be our S50. Okay, we'll exit. Oh, one more thing. We should have a reasonable output, which in this case should be a floating point as the floating point will be able to show both integers and floats. Okay, now let's go. Okay, so here we shall enter the name plc1 colon main dot my real plc1 main my real one okay and now we have access to the first variable which we can see as a result right here we'll increment the index to two so this always uh, shows a zero. We will try this one, which is actually moving. This is a five. Okay, you have an access. You'll now select instead of my real the my int i n t doc. Okay, and we have access to number four which is right here. We'll use index 3. We have this variable here. Index 1. And we're pointing to the first variable. 